Hello and welcome. Today is April 22nd, 2021. Welcome to my Osprey watching video. Here is nest number three, closest to St. Mary's Lake. Okay, so here are two Osprey right there in the nest. What do you think about me getting closer to them? Not too much closer. But I do need to respect the Osprey. Because, you know, I mean, they, they're, they're the only ones that are here at the lake right now. There's no Osprey at nest number one. So let me show you nest number one way quick. Yeah, they just had a baseball game out in the open field. So the Osprey aren't there and they're just waiting until everybody leaves. Then they'll come to the nest. Possibly. We'll see. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm just going to try to get closer to these Osprey. I'm literally on my knees just trying to crawl, maybe not even crawling, but just trying to get closer to them. Alright, so we'll see if this works. Uh, you think this is good? I'm only going to film them for like a little while. I'm not going to like film them like the whole time. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Let me just see if the angle is good. Let me see. Very beautiful, huh? So that is the male, and that one's the female for sure. Male. Yeah, I can tell which one's the male, which one's the female, because the male has no brown stripes on the chest, whereas the female does. Okay. Alright, so, yeah, the male's kind of looking at me funny. Yeah, I should probably, I should probably set up base right here. Okay. Right here, this is the spot. All right, let me pause it. I accidentally hit the stop button. Okay. So here's the two Osprey right here. Uh, let me just angle this a little bit better so that you can see them better. And I can actually tilt this down a little bit. Okay, I think that's good enough. That should get them into full frame at least. Yeah, so there are the two Osprey right there. So, I want to talk about skill stock. So, skill stock went from $13 all the way to 20 Yes, within... Well, actually, I'm sorry, it's not quite 20. It was like 1980 or so. And then it fell like a couple dollars after that. But I, I know it's gonna go back up. This is a, just a very volatile stock and it's just something that I just have to keep an eye on. But I think it could certainly get to that 23 level that I'm looking for. So I have a sell order for half my shares at 22. And then the other half, I have a sell order set for 23. So if I, if I just keep an eye on it, I should be fine with that. And if it goes up higher in pre-market, I, I can make out really, really well. So I'm hoping that, that it could certainly get higher than 23. I mean, that would be great. I could really make a ton of money from that. Oh, did I... This camera's messed up. There we go. Oh. There we go. Okay. <sighs> so, yeah, there's the two Osprey right there. Now, I can zoom in further. It's just that... I want to try to get both of them on camera. 
It's not too often you see both of them together like that. Like almost right in the same spot. Oh, and also, by the way, I didn't see any hawks today. I went on the causeway, and we even drove right behind the causeway in this minor road. Didn't see nothing there, and then we came here. And I did build myself a hawk trap, and it's a really simple hawk trap. It's really just a couple rubber bands that are attached to a plaque, like a wooden, a wooden stud. What 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 do they call those things? A wooden. It's like one of those things that you place on, like windows or something like that. Well, anyways, I used one of those things, and it looks like it worked out. Uh, the glue is holding in place and everything with the little sticks. And I placed the rubber band between that and the top and it opens and closes when I put the stud on the thing. So when the hawk goes in to eat the meat, it'll have to move the stick. Like it'll bump into it as it's trying to eat the meat. And then the door will close and then the hawk will be trapped. But I don't know if this plan is going to work. I don't think any raptor around here will eat raw steak. I don't think it's possible. These raptors in Georgia are way different than any other raptor that I've ever seen. They are way more simple. simple. They just want a simple meal. They want nothing more than that. Hmm, having some difficulty with this camera. Ugh. I don't know what's going on with my camera here. My tripod anyways. Yeah, sometimes she does make calls. Or is it he or she? It's female for sure. Yeah, let me zoom this out way quick so I can tilt my camera. I just need to tilt it a little bit more. Oh. Which one's doing the call and which one? Is it that one? Is that the one that's doing the calling? Let's see. Yes, it's the female that's doing the call, and of course, no surprise there. Let me tilt it just a little bit more, just in case.
There we go. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go away quick. I have to leave. I mean, not saying I have to leave, but... I want to go see if there's, if the osprey that's its nest number three is at the net. Sorry, nest number two is what I meant to say. And I'll only be able to see it if I go a distance away. Otherwise, I'd have to go to that park to see it, and then I'd have to stop this recording. All right, so I will be right back. I hope these osprey don't fly away from me when I come back. Yes, your fearless leader is back. And yes, so here is fearless Tom, and I don't know what to name the other Osprey yet. And I did name him fearless Tom, even though he isn't fearless at all. That's the one on the left. Left one on the left is fearless Tom. And I don't know what to name the right one. Okay, so there's fearless Tom right there. And then here's the female. Thing is, I don't know what to, f to name the female now. What should I name the female? I need a, a vote. I need somebody to tell me. You need to tell me what I should name these Osprey. I really need your help, okay? Oh look, look at this, look at this. There is a bird that landed on near the nest. It's not just any bird. It's, oh man, dang it. Shoot. Well, that was quick. Oh. Hey, Crow, don't be bothering those Osprey. Get away from there. Yeah, that Crow listened to me. I saved you. I don't know what I saved you from, but... <laughs> Okay, so yeah, there's the female, Osprey, yep, the female. <sighs> well... There she is. Mmm. <sighs> Fixing sticks, organizing sticks, I guess. I'm not sure what she's doing. 
Okay, let me zoom out one more time here so I can readjust this thing. Yeah, I've been having a lot of difficulties with my camera lately. But we should be good now. Will that do it? Will I be able to zoom in with that? That's as far as my optical zoom will go. That is it. <sighs> oh yeah, and by the way, about nest number three. Sorry, I didn't mean to say nest number three. I meant to say nest number two, which is the nest at the skate park. I didn't see any osprey in the nest. So I'm not even going to bother driving there, or should I say my grandma isn't going to bother driving there because she's driving me around. I guess I'll play a game on my phone for a while while I'm watching these Osprey. Let me put some bug spray on just in case because I do see like a couple mats around. It's always fair to be safe than sorry. Because once they start coming, they don't want to leave. Yeah, that's always what happens. I think that's a train. I think that's what I'm hearing. Oh, my phone. My phone has bug spray on it. <laughs> Go figure.
What's the matter, Osprey? What's the matter? And I gotta tilt this up a little bit. No, nope, 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 nope. It's starting to come down. I don't know why I'm having such problems with this this camera. Hang on. I've never had problems like this in the past. Whoops, uh oh. There we go, okay. That works. Now there's only eight seconds left of the recording. Now I'll need to start a new one. There we go. I'm sure those are mating calls. I'm pretty sure of it. All right, I think it's time that I try to get closer to these Osprey. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Yeah, the, the biggest problem is there's this little stick, this, this pole that's at the top of the tower that's preventing me from seeing the Osprey fully. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's going on? Oh, no, is something going on? I hope not. Oh, no. Okay, okay, good, all right. Yeah, so she just flew over to the edge of that nest right there. And then she flies, and believe me, it wasn't because of me, okay? Oh man, and she flew up onto that pole right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get closer to her. Yes, yeah, so the female is right there. And she's preening her feathers. Hmm. Yeah, she's preening her feathers while the male is still at the nest. Yeah, I was, I was grabbing all my stuff, like right before that happened. I just seem to think it's just, it seems too much of a coincidence that these things just always happen right when I least expect it.
Raptors are so sensitive towards movement, they really are. There's, re there's some, in some ways I like them, but in some ways I hate them. And that is just one of the things I hate. <laughs> okay, so maybe she's going to stay there for a little while. Yes, this is a pretty powerful camera. Yeah. I can film things from quite far away with this thing. Okay, so back to what I was going to do before. Alright, so there's a new change of plans. I'm going to now get closer to the female instead of the male. Okay. So uh, just a little quick check to see how far I am from the sauce prey. I'm right here. Okay, so you can see the male is right there. But he might not be there for long. Nope. Yeah, he's going to fly off. Just watch. Should I even take any chances? I've gotten close to these Osprey before. They never acted like this before. Yeah, he flew over to that edge. So just watch, he's gonna fly off too. Yeah, he's gonna do the same thing that the female did. I'm barely even walking towards him. I'm just sidestepping. Is sidestepping bad? Like, am I not allowed to sidestep? Alright, so I'm gradually getting closer. If he lets me. Just let me pass you. That's it. That's all I have to do, okay?
It's okay, I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop, okay? I'm not gonna stop moving. Did it work? Okay. Okay, good, good. We're at the home stretch, baby. Home stretch. That's right. I'm happy right here. As long as the footage is there, it's all that matters. Okay, let me just tilt up just a little bit more because I know this is going to tilt down when I zoom it. Good, not good. There we go, okay. We'll set up shop right here. Okay, we set up shop right here, okay. This is good. Wow. This is a very clear image of the osprey right here. Hey there, cutie pie. Hey there, lovely. Hey, Fearless Tom, you jealous? You jealous that I'm closer to your mate than you are? I'm sure. So she's preening her feathers. Preening her feathers. I wonder, does that mean she's hunting? Does that mean she's in hunting mode or is she just kind of cleaning herself for the night? I think it's the second one. I'm not really gonna bother giving her my fish. And she's not going to accept it. She's not going to accept any fish that's not in the water. <laughs> but I did see one video. I, I swear I did. And he said it like, like on the shore of the lake. And an osprey swooped in to grab it. Now this was a live fish though. I don't have a live fish. I need to be a fisherman to do that. But if that's the only way people are feeding ospreys, then I guess I would just have to do that. Can't use a store-bought fish, that just doesn't work. Give it a try. Just way quick. Can you see the fish? Hmm.
Let me try something. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna work, but... <laughs> okay, so I... I decided to record this with my phone. Okay, and here is the Osprey preening, and here is the fish. Okay, fish goes to Osprey. Fish gets dropped for Osprey. Fish doesn't get thrown, okay? But the question is, if, if walking doesn't work, does crawling work? And will the Osprey notice the fish is even there? I don't know. But there's only one way to find out for sure. I'm, in fact, I'm going to take all my crap out of my wall, uh, out of my pockets because I don't need them. Oh, and I forgot that I still had my sandwich here too. <sighs> oh crap. Okay. By the time I'm like halfway, it'll probably be dark by then. And will this prove that crawling works? No, it's not gonna prove that crawling works. Remember, I'm not throwing it, I'm only dropping it. Okay. I don't know how far away I am from, but I could just pretend to be a really long fish. I heard a red shoulder hawk on. You want this fish red shoulder hawk? I'll tell you one thing, the Osprey love fish. That's all they eat is fish. They eat 100% fish in their diet. But they just won't accept this fish. Okay, there we go, and then I'm gonna turn around. The Osprey has eyes. The Osprey can see a fish. The Osprey has the ability to see a fish. If he wants it, if he's hungry enough, he'll grab it. And he's probably not gonna do it when I'm here. Or I say, say she, she, that's what I meant to say. She's not gonna grab it while I'm here. But there it is, it's halfway between me and the Osprey. The only thing this Osprey has to do is swoop down to grab it, but I know she's not gonna do that because it's like invisible to her. All food on the grass is invisible.
Hmm, I gotta find a red shoulder hawk to feed this fish to. But I know red shoulder hawk's not gonna go for the fish. I do have raw steak too. All right, I'm gonna stop this recording now. Okay, so I stopped the cell phone recording. I was really just filming myself walking over or crawling over to drop the fish down. And that's all right. I'm just gonna eat the rest of my sandwich really quick. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I just need to go check on the other osprey nest right quick. All right.
I forgot to hit the record button. How stupid of me. Okay, it should look a lot smoother now with the footage. Ooh, rousing. Is that rousing that I just saw? I hope it is, because if it's rousing, I'm just going to be tolerant of me. Yeah, you know, I have a fish. One. One, two, three. It didn't work, did it? Did you even see the fish get thrown? Are you hunting? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you, are you full from a meal? I don't know. I can't tell. I don't know. I'm not going to know unless you tell me. She's looking right at me. She's looking right at me. I can't believe it. She's looking right at me. <laughs> wow. going on? What are you doing? Believe in herself maybe? I'm sitting so still right now. I really am. Okay, I'm going to try to collect the fish if I can. Alright, so I'm going to approach the fish. If the osprey will let me. Osprey's looking right at me. Hi, Osprey. Hey there, Osprey. Hey there. I like you, Osprey. I like you. You're a beautiful Osprey. You're so beautiful. You're pretty. You're pretty, Osprey.
grabbing my fish way quick. I know that Osprey saw that. There'll be plenty of opportunities for me to use this fish, believe me. Plenty of opportunities. Alright, you don't have to see that stupid fish anymore. At least, at least not for now. Okay. <sighs> it's okay, Osprey. Why are you calling? Why are you calling? Why are you making calls? It's okay. It's alright, Osprey. Yeah, I'm afraid to get any closer to you because you seem to be making calls at me. Like you're, you seem to be turning your head towards me as you're calling. What's the matter with you? I'm just watching you.
All right, nighty night, Osprey. All right, I'm also going to one one more time. I am going to look at this nest too. Oh, wait a minute. Why can I see it? Um. Oh yeah. And then let me look at the male one more time. Sorry about that. Focus isn't so great because it's starting to get dark outside. Yep, there is the male osprey. Just sitting back and relaxing. Right at the nest there. Okay. I gotta get going. I'm gonna go over to nest number two way quick and see how they're doing. The day's not quite over yet, but I do just wanna go over there way quick. And also mosquitoes are getting worse like as it gets to sunset. No, there's no osprey over there. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this recording and I'm gonna get to the other park now. All right, I'm gonna call it a night. Okay, so there is no osprey at nest number two. There were only osprey at nest number three, which makes sense because I guess they're still working on the nest. So I will see you tomorrow. Until next time, I'll see you later. Take care, everybody. Okay, so here I am at St. Mary's Lake, and as you can see, I see one of the osprey at the nest right now. Wait, I think they're mating. Are they mating? I think they are. And, oh wait, do I hear? Do I hear the osprey over here? Oh, oh, the osprey is there. Oh, that's great, okay. Hello. 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 Hey, stop talking. Hello. Still talking, huh? Hello. I know, my talking is not working. He's not saying hello back. I do know of a video that I've watched of a crow actually saying hello back. It can actually happen. I mean, just because it rarely happens doesn't mean it doesn't happen. I saw the osprey fly off and he's flying this way. Hmm. Well, he's going far away. He's not, he's not coming here.